Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the McMurdo Lair, where I do math experiments. Woo -ha -ha -ha! Today we're going to do a quick video from showing how to organize decimals from least to greatest. These are problems, if you're in my class, that you may have seen before. Step one, when ordering decimals, actually ordering any numbers, is we line them up by place value. And what I mean by that is the ones place goes above the ones place, the decimals go above each other, the tenths place, the hundredths place, the thousandths place, and in this case the ten thousandths place. Once we've done that, we want them to have the same number of digits behind the decimal point. Okay, behind the decimal point, we need to make sure they have the same number of digits. And then we work from biggest place value to smallest place value. The biggest in this number is the ones place. Here they are all twos. So I can't compare anything here. Here we have a two, a two, a two, and a three. Okay, since this is bigger than all the others, this three here, I can tell you right now that this three is going to be my last number. So I'm going to have 2.3 last, or 2 and 3 tenths last. So now, I, the tenths place, they all have 2. Now I go to the hundredths place. They have a 4, a 4, and a 1. Well, since the 1 is the smallest, everything before it, they're all the same. The 1 is the smallest. This is going to be my smallest number. 2 and 217 thousandths. Okay, now we have a 4 and a 4. These are the only two numbers left. The ones are the same, the tenths are the same, the hundredths are the th same. The thousandths, we have a 0 and a 1, which means 2 and 24 hundredths is smaller. I don't have to put in these zeros. These zeros are just used to help me figure out where my answer is, or where my, I keep my place values lined up. So 2 and 24 hundredths and two and two thousand four hundred twelve ten thousandths that would be our order from least to greatest right here let's look at another let's look at another we have the numbers six and eighteen hundredths 6 and 81 hundredths, 6 and 108 thousandths, 6 and 1,821, 10 thousandths, same thing, we line them up by decimal point, just let me pause for a minute, I gotta go yell at somebody in my house, and I'm back, I know you missed me, again, these are our four numbers. We're going to put them in order from least to greatest. Step one is to write them down, lining up the decimal points, lining up each place value. After we do that, we want to make sure behind the decimal point they have the same number of places. So this one goes four numbers behind the decimal point. The rest need to have four numbers behind the decimal point. Makes it much easier to compare. Then we move to the biggest place value, which is the ones. We have all of them are sixes. So we can't do anything there. We have a one, an eight, a one, and a one. Since I know this eight is bigger than the three ones, that's where it tells me in the tenths place that this one's going to be our biggest number. So our biggest number is going to be 6 and 81 hundredths. I'm done with that. Now I have 1, 1, and 1. So the rest of these in the tenths place are the same. I move to the hundredths place. 8, 0, and an 8. So this tells me 6 and 108 thousandths is going to be my smallest. So now I've used that one. 
So now I have a 1 and a 1, an 8 and an 8, a 0 and a 2. So 6 and 18 hundredths is my next smallest. And 6. And 1821, 6.1821 is my third. And the biggest is 6 and 81 hundredths. Simple as that. If we line that up, lining up the place values, it's easy peasy, raw chicken squeezy. Let's look at another one. All right, so we rewrite them, lining up the, the place values. We have 7 and 21 hundredths, 7 and 2 hundred one thousandths, 7 and 2 tenths, and 7.2112. I fill in any places so that they go the same number of distance behind the decimal point. So this one has four behind the decimal point. That's the biggest. But they all need to have four behind the decimal point. And then I start with the largest place value, which in this case is the ones place. And if I look at the ones, they all have a seven in the ones. I can't do anything with that. Then I go to the tenths place. They all have a two in the tenths. So I can't do anything with that. Then I go to the hundredths place. I have a one, a zero, a zero, and a one. Since zero is smaller than one, one of these two is going to be my smallest. I'm doing some math, son. So, and I'm, I'm talking to the computer. So, shh. So now I have 2010 or 2000. Well, 2000 is the smallest, and the original number is 7 and 2 tenths. So that's what I would write down 7 and 2 tenths, and then 7 and 201 thousandths. So I've compared these two. Now these both go 7.21, 7.21. This has two zeros, this has one two. So this is smaller. So 7.21 and 7.2112. So that is the order from least to greatest for those four numbers. Let's look at another problem. Two and eighteen hundredths, two and one hundred eight thousandths, two and two tenths, two and two tenths, right? Yeah, I saw, I saw. Two point one eight three one. Let's write them down, lining up the place values. Thank you. Isn't that awesome? Do that. Do that. Oh, you did this. Oh, this. Yeah. All right. So now we've got the ones over the ones, the tenths over the tenths, the hundredths over the hundredths, thousands over the thousands, the ten thousandths over the ten thousandths. So the ten thousandths is our biggest play or our smallest place value because it's furthest to the right, what? which means I need to add. Zero so that they all go out to the ten thousandths. So why that's going with that? That's just the way I'm doing it, son. And I look in the ones place. They're all twos. Let me pause this for a second. Hey, how are you? Hey. Little bit different today. How's work today? Mom's not here. No, mom's not here yet. So I looked at the ones place. They're all the same. The tenths place, I have a one, one, a two, and a one. one well, obviously, two and two tenths is going to be my biggest. And that was not three. Now I have a one, one, and a one on the tenths place, so that means I need to move to the hundredths place. I have an eight, a zero, and an eight. Whoa. That means two and one hundred eight thousandths is going to be my smallest. 
Then they have an eight in the hundredths and an eight in the hundredths, a zero in the thousandths, and a, z a three in the thousandths. So the one with the zero in the thousandths is going to be followed by. And we'll do one last problem. Now that my children are talking all through this video. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? We have five and three tenths. We have five and thirty-six hundredths. We have five and three hundred sixteen thousandths. We have five and three thousand three hundred sixty-one ten thousandths. She's in the backyard. Backyard. All right. Once again, we line them up by the place value. The ones place over the ones place. The tenths over the tenths. The hundredths over the hundredths. And five. then we add our placeholder zeros that do not change the value. I like to do it in a different color because I know what the original number was. So if I look at it as the answers, it'll have the original number there. It won't have the one with my extra added zeros. The ones places are all the same. The tenths places are all the same. The hundredths place, I have a zero, a six, a one, and a three. Well, obviously, the one with the zero is going to be the smallest. So my first number is five and three tenths. Now I have a six, a one, and a three. Well, one is smaller, so that's going to obviously be my next number. And the three and the six, so the three is smaller. And last but not least is five and thirty-six hundredths. If you're comparing numbers, if you're ordering numbers, if you're adding and subtracting numbers, one of the most important things I can tell you is to line up the place values one over the other. Just like you've always done. You've always done, if I gave you the problem 18 plus 7, you'd put the ones place over the ones place, the tenths place over the tenths place. And this one doesn't have any ten, tens. Okay? So it's the same thing. Just because it has decimals, don't let it freak you out. Decimals are easy. Boom, shakalaka, peace out, God bless, love you, do something kind today, save the bees, love y'all.